Today we are exploring Kyoto, one of Japan's most beautiful and historic cities. And the best part, we are doing it all on a budget. So whether you are a backpacker or somebody who is just looking to save some money, I'm going to show you how to make the most of your trip to Kyoto without breaking the bank. Flights and accommodation costs usually take the biggest chunk out of your holiday spending. So the first step to traveling Kyoto on a budget is finding where you can stay for cheap. Hostels and guest houses are a great option for budget conscious travelers and many of them are located in central areas, making it easy to explore the city on foot. You'll also meet other backpackers that share the love for Kyoto. Another option is to stay in a capsule hotel, which offers a unique Japanese experience at a low cost. Check out the Prime Pot Kyoto with rates that start at 19 US dollars a night. Kyoto is famous for its delicious food, but dining out can get expensive. To save money, get as much food as you can from convenience stores. The three main ones are Family Mart, Lawson, and 7-Eleven. They have a healthy range of food from instant ramen to sandwiches, all the way up to full meals. Expect to pay anywhere from 100 yen to 1000 yen per item here. Your next best source of affordable food is at food stalls that you'll find throughout the city, especially in Nishiki Market, also known as Kyoto's Kitchen. Now in my last video, I shared the 5 best day trips out of Kyoto, so if you're interested to check that out, just click on the link in the upper right corner of your screen now. Kyoto has an extensive public transportation system, including buses and trains, making it easy to get around the city without a car. The best way to save money is to purchase a one-day or multi-day pass, which offers unlimited travel on all public transportation for a price. For your information, the one-day pass costs 900 yen for adults, while the two-day pass costs 1700 yen. Kids between 6 to 11 years old will travel at half the price. Kyoto is a great city to explore on foot, so you can definitely save some money by walking. Many of the city's temples and shrines are also located within walking distance of each other. When it comes to attractions, Kyoto is home to many temples, shrines, and other cultural sites, but many of them have entrance fees. To save money, consider visiting some of the free or low-cost attractions, such as the Philosopher's Path, which is simply amazing during cherry blossom season. The historical Gion district and the Fushimi Inari shrine with its thousands of torii gates that go all the way up the mountain. So without a doubt, Kyoto is a beautiful and historic city, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy it. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have money saving tips to share, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as I have a ton of content coming your way. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.